Sean Ellen from Pretty Hair is Fun, and today we're going to do something really fun. If your girls are like mine, they're probably obsessed right now with the movie Frozen. All around my house, all you hear is songs being sung and imitation sound of the characters. So today we have a little treat. We are going to do a hairstyle from the movie. And who are we going to do? Elsa's hairstyle. And you also hair from the coronation. So let's get started. Of course, to begin with, we want to show you this little thing we've made. It's just a ribbon, and it's tied onto a bobby pin. And it's going to be approximately the length of her hair from about her shoulder down. So if you want to add in a ribbon, like it is on the movie, then you can prepare one of these beforehand. So to begin with, what we're going to do, touch your head back a little bit, is I'm going to part her hair here on the side. I've already started it. And then once you've reached about two inches back, you're going to start curving it towards the side. And this is going to kind of wrap around the back side of her head. And then I'm going to bring, keep bringing it back to about the middle of her neck. So you can see how that's parted. And that's going to leave this side free. So I'm going to clip this section off right now. Leave it out of the way. So to begin with, I'm going to hairspray this hair up here on top just to kind of hold down some flowers and to give her hair a little bit more texture since her hair is very slippery. You don't have to do this. This is what I do for their slick hair. So I'm going to comb this down. I'm going to pull it this up a little bit tighter. We're going to be braiding this hair so I don't want it in there at all. Go. Okay. So to begin with, put your chin up for me. Thank you. I'm going to do a twist braid in this section of her hair. I'll try this way. Thank you. So to start, I'm going to part off this section on top, slit it in half, and begin twisting it. This can be as loose or as tight as you want. And I'm only adding in hair to one side as I do this. You can see I pulled it from all the way back. And twist. Put your up for me. Thank you. And I'll continue adding in hair to the one side. I also had bangs in the movie. So that was the one thing I'm missing, but we didn't want to cut bangs just for this hairstyle. Not today, right? So I keep adding in the hair that you've parted off. And follow that line down behind your ear. sections and I'm pulling up or getting smaller since the hair is getting thinner. And what's about right here, I'm just going to pull all the rest of it up and add it in. And I'm actually going to tighten this right here a little bit. I don't like those loose parts. It's way easier to fix it while you're doing it than trying to fix it after. And then once you get down here, I'm going to stop right there actually, so just right here on the side of her neck. I'm going to put an elastic in right here. Be careful not to pull on her baby hairs at the back. This doesn't have to look perfect. This will get rocked into other hair. This is the point where if you want to add in a ribbon, you can take that ribbon that's on your bobby pin and tuck it down inside of the ponytail, like this. Now, moving to the next section, the hair that we've clipped off. I'm going to comb this. In the movie, she had this section was very full of volume, and it stuck out from her head. So if you want to add that to the hair, you can back comb, starting the farthest section away and just wrap a little bit, add a little bit of hairspray 
and then move to another section. Don't drop your comb. There you go. Right. Now, of course, if you don't like this idea, you don't have to do it. I'm not a huge fan of writing my hair because I don't like trying to get it out later. But it does work for this hairstyle. You want to look just like Elsa. One final section. I'm not going to do this section right here. Just one more. Okay. Let it dry a little bit. And then you're going to come back here to the front. You're going to lightly comb that surface, and the front part. I'm going to spray a little bit more. And I'm pulling this hair to the side and back. So, without ruining your teasing, I comb these sections smooth. And pull it over to where the ponytail is that you've done with the twist braid. Spraying with the flyaway. All right, so she's got a little bit more volume here than she would have normally. So now once you've got up to this point, you're gonna grab this hair. Twist this hair back here first. Grab this hair together, and you're gonna twist these in the same direction. You're going to hide that bobby pin. So as you twist, you're going to twist it up. And you're going to be making a rosette with the hair and the ribbon. So you can get your ribbon to pop out while you do it. That is the idea. And as you twist, you're going to be twisting around the hair. But don't worry, it doesn't come out to a perfect circle. You can always fix that with bobby pins. Once you have it here to this air, this stage, you want to flatten it out and you want to take a bobby pin and you want to pin the bun to her head on the side. So we're going. That one's not working so well. There we go. You can also attach that ribbon to the elastic that you put in her right to finish off her French twist. If that's easier for you. Flatten that like you like. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Reposition, which is what we do. Don't try anything, let me see. Sometimes that ribbon gets in the way. So you might not want to do it all the time. So look over here. Alright. She is a princess. 
Bishop's Elsie's coronation of their style. Do you feel like a princess? Good. 